how is it going everybody mr android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel guys i have the latest ios 18.1 developer beta on my 15 pro max and with this update apple has finally started rolling out some of the much awaited apple intelligence features for the 15 pro and pro max users with that being said, in today's video, we'll be comparing these brand new Apple intelligence features with the more popular Galaxy AI features that are already present on this 24 Ultra. It's gonna be a really interesting video where we will find out how the Galaxy AI stacks up against Apple intelligence. So stay tuned and watch it till the very end. Also, let's aim for at least 1000 likes on this one. With that said, drop a like, leave a comment and let's get started. Alright guys, since it's the beta version, Apple has not released all the Apple intelligence features and currently we only have access to some limited features. So in this video, we'll be comparing only those with the Galaxy AI. First, let's talk about the writing tools that have been added to iOS. If I write anything using the keyboard, I'll just tap on it and here I get this brand new option called writing tools. This basically allow users to rewrite the content and modify the tone with the help of AI. Users can choose from different tones that includes friendly, professional and concise. We have the same exact feature on Samsung but I think One UI does it better than iOS. To rewrite the content, just click on this icon and select writing style. Here not only do you get more options like casual, social and polite but the best part is you can see all the different tones on one page. In iOS, you cannot view all the tones at once. You need to click on one option and see how the content looks. Then go back and select the other. Samsung lets you view all the options and if you want to use any of them, you can just tap on copy or insert directly from this menu. Now one thing that I didn't like about the Galaxy AI is that you only get the summary and formatting options when you are inside the notes application. Whereas in iOS, even when you are typing a message or writing an email, you will get options such as summary, key points, list and table. This way you can summarize and format your content whenever you want with just a single click. Now both iOS and One UI let you correct your spelling and grammar mistakes. However, One UI has this really useful translation feature that is built right into the Samsung keyboard. This feature lets you translate anything when you are in a conversation with someone, writing an email, taking notes and even while reading an article. You can translate and communicate with a person who doesn't know your language with the help of Galaxy AI. Well, this is something that is still missing from Apple intelligence. Now let's compare the AI tools we get inside the notes application. So here I have the same text written on both devices. In iOS, if I select a block of text, this Apple intelligence icon pops up on the right side. Tapping on it will bring up the exact same writing tools. Now coming to One UI, instead of bringing up the keyboard and get access to the same set of tools, we also have the separate AI button that is specifically designed for the notes app. Tapping on it will bring up a new set of options. You can format the text into headers and bullet points. You can summarize the entire text in two different styles such as standard and detailed. There is also a translation option to quickly translate anything you want. Even though you also get the summarize option with the Apple keyboard, I really like how things are easily organized in One UI. It provides you with a different set of options for a specific application based on the needs and requirement. So you don't have to mess around with a bunch of tools and the overall experience feels way less cluttered compared to Galaxy AI. Similarly, when you open the Samsung internet browser and let's say you're reading an article, here you get this separate AI button that makes the content on web pages easy to understand. Basically, you get the summarize and translation feature that lets you quickly summarize or translate the entire website for you. On an iPhone, you can also do the same thing but for that you need to go to the reader mode and here you get this summarize option. Just tap on it and it will summarize the entire page for you. The only thing that is not present here is the translation feature but I do like how it integrates the Apple intelligence features right inside the mail app. Guys, if you are reading an email on your iPhone, you now have the summarize option that will summarize the whole email in just a single click. This is something which is not present on Galaxy AI. Now other than the writing tools, we do have a lot more AI features available on Galaxy devices like the voice translation during live calls, photo editing tools, circle to search, voice transcript and more. We will compare all these once we get more Apple intelligence features on the 15 Pro Max. But right now Samsung is way ahead in terms of the AI features and even the writing tools are very well organized in Galaxy AI which will force you to use all these features more and more in your day to day life. 
So that's pretty much it for this video. Let me know in the comment section which UI do you prefer in terms of the AI features and functionality. If you guys like this video then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I am Mr. Android and I'll see you guys in the next one.